Hello, Nate Streeter, Street Smart Marketing here with another question that came in. How do I get more reviews online? You know, we get this question every week, it seems like right now. Let me run you through a quick scenario here. So let's go to the internet and uh, let's type in, let's say I have, uh, you guys are mostly all in the Twin Cities here in the Minneapolis metro area. Let's say uh, Shane Company, the jeweler, jeweler um, asked me to help them with their review. So let's just quick uh, look that up. I, you can see I did Shane Co. Um, uh, and you can see here, it looks to me like they have 10 Google reviews. And they have um, eight Yelp reviews. And they have, let's see if I can find any more here on the first page. And that looks like about it. I mean, we, we won't go into Facebook. Huh? Well, we could. Let's see how many likes they have. Um, okay, so they have 121,000 likes. Now, that tells me they probably are pretty active marketers on, on YouTube. Uh, or, I'm sorry, on Facebook. So they come to me. They say, Nate, I want... You know, and you can even see some of their scores here aren't the best, particularly at their Minnetonka location. They have a score of 14 out of 30. Um, so maybe they say, Nate, gosh, you know, we've got some negative reviews in here that are really pulling us down. We need help getting way more. You know, we really want to have 50 or 100 uh, reviews here so that we can continue to move up in the search engine optimization and, and be ahead of our other competitors in the Twin Cities. I get that question all the time. It is not hard to do that. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I've helped so many different people do that. So how do I get more reviews online? There's really three secrets. It's just like real estate. You guys have probably heard the adage, there's three rules in real estate, location, location, location. It's the same exact kind of concept here when it comes to getting more reviews online. The secret is ask, ask, ask. If you do not ask for reviews, I can guarantee this is exactly what you're gonna get. You're gonna have thousands of people who you've done business with in the jewelry business, yet only a few of them have left reviews. And in fact, you can probably see here, only the few that you've had that have been terrible have left your reviews, or the few that have been fantastic. And you need a broader range. And how you can do that is with ask, ask, ask. Now the next question you should really be asking is, well, how and when do I ask? And this is really, really important. Um, you want to ask as close to the satisfaction as you can. And what I mean by that is, when is the customer satisfied with your product or service? That's when you want to ask. Now, sometimes that could be literally when they're leaving your store, they could just be elated. But sometimes it could be a couple days later. It depends on what kind of product or service you have. Um, so. Now, how do I ask? Again, that depends a little bit on the kind of service you have too. It could be in person. I like that the most. I usually, with, with my coaching, that's part of what we're trying to do is create systems where they're asking in person. We also will do email um, and, and some other form type things. Um, when we say ask, 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 part of it is, there's one single secret, but part of it also is, is that you are hitting them multiple times. So you might, when, you might ask them right after you sell, and then you might also send them an email a couple days later. Um, that will get you far more. So uh, that kind of answers the question of how and when. Now, the truth is, lots of you have tried this, and lots of you have failed. And I'm gonna show you why you failed, and how you can make sure you, you know, to create a much better. You need to have systems to make this all happen consistently. So many of you that I've met and have seen have done a little bit here, a little bit there, and then you guys, you, your staff gets fired up for a week or two and you guys get a couple different reviews and then things kind of fizzle out and you know, then you're coming to me saying, hey, how in the world do I get this going again? You need systems that happen consistently in asking for the review. So this cannot happen ha uh, happen half-hazard. You need to have systems. So when we, we have a checklist, these are the four things we do after every job. One of those things is we ask for them to leave us a review. So that's a system. The next thing that you have to do with your staff, you have to have positive reinforcement. If you have a sales staff, it's likely that you reinforce their sales efforts now. So you are probably, you know, if they get certain sales volumes or they sell certain upsells or whatever, you have positive reinforcement. 
Do you have positive reinforcement for reviews? Key, you know, I've worked with several of my customers. You know, it can be anything from, you know, just patting them on the back right when it happens to scoring them to just, you know, making it a competition among your staff. There's lots of different ways, but you need to create positive reinforcement because otherwise, three months from now, they will not be doing this anymore. Uh, if they don't see the reason why. So make sure that you create a system of positive reinforcement. The third thing, the internet is not just a place to get information anymore. As we continue year in and year out, the internet continues to change and it is more of a place of interaction. And what you, what you need to realize is when someone leaves a review for you, it's an opportunity to interact with them and to follow up with them. And particularly things like Twitter and Facebook give us this option. So make sure that you are looking at those as an opportunity. Just imagine someone is an evangelist for your product or service. They loved what you did. What else could come out of that with you interacting with them? Maybe referrals. Maybe uh, they will, you know, be the next person to buy a new product that come, that you're going to come out with. There's just so many different possibilities. And if you sort of get that, you need a system that takes advantage of that and can lead you to so many more things. So systems, you know, I, you guys probably hear me talk about systems too much, but that's really what makes so much change in businesses. I can't wait to help you with this. You guys know we're here to help. Contact us now. We can help you get these systems set up and increase your online reviews. Heck, we have a, an example where we brought a customer. I think they had three reviews or, or five or eight. I can't remember. It was, it was a handful. And now they are literally just in a few months, we've gotten them dozens and dozens of reviews online. And, and they've really catapulted past virtually all of their competitors. In fact, we were estimating that within the next few months, they will have more reviews than any other competitor in the Twin Cities. So you can just imagine, I could get you to the place where you will have more than any of your competitors and it doesn't take that long, but you need to create these systems. You need to set it up. I can't wait to help you. Give us a call, send us an email. We'll talk soon.